Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Amamads, on the Minecraft Survival Manual, and I appear to have acquired a sheep on my platform, but I have no problem with that, that's fair, Mr. Sheep, you are very welcome. So today, we are talking about storage, I mean, look at my inventory at the moment, it is a right old mess, and we both know that, because obviously there's only one of you watching, we both know that in here, I've got just junk chests. These are all what you would call drop chests or junk chests. They're not sorted. We need to be able to have a nice inventory system that doesn't take a lot of time to put your stuff away. I'm very conscious of the fact that there is a skelly there. I've got no, <laughs> got no arrows so I can't shoot him. And there is also a creeper over there. So. I'm going to go and get, oh, there's also a creeper over there. I'm going to go and get a load of resources because I've got some things that I want to do. And it's going to be off the back of extending this platform. I've bought myself a little chest full of little things. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a couple of these little things out at the moment. And we're going to extend this along here. So this side here, we're going to take this out, which means that I need to take out that, 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 and that. Thank you very much. I shall collect you. And we're going to extend this out a little way. So if we count out, this is going to be actually what well, just obviously with the fences gone, that would be useful too. Let's get rid of those fences. Thank you very much. I'm going to extend this out another. How far out should we come? So this is one, two, three. There's five. So if you imagine that's one, two, three, four, five, that's kind of one extension. And then you've got the wood post and then you got one two three four five i think for now that will do and what i'm going to put is another wood post with the one two three four five there and there so that's going to come there that's going to come there it's going to be up and up and i'm just going to fill in this hole because i want this to run the entirety of this side coming out to there. I told you this is an expandable pipe. Oh! Did I just get creepered? How on earth did I not get more? Hey, how did I not get more done than that? Oh, I didn't even lose a heart. That's brilliant. Oh, sorry, Mr. Creeper, but I appear to be invincible today. Feel free to come back another day when I'm less invincible. I will, however collect up this it's also made a mess and of course there's some to come and try and kill me as well yeah some on fire the fires making more damage than the creeper did how crazy is that i am going to need to fill this in now aren't i right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to create this platform and once i've got the platform done and i'm going to fill in that hole a little bit once that's sorted i'll be back with you one extended platform later the ground is officially fixed i've not carried out the whole hole because i might actually use that for something a little bit later on but the hole is effectively fixed and i'm going to do an inventory system this is an automated inventory system i'm going to do a really basic one this is not going to be one that's you know got overflow protection or any of that malarkey one two three four five six but it is entirely expandable and i'm going to use barrels instead of chests. Most people use chests when they do this, but I'm gonna use barrels. Crouch click to put a second barrel on top of the first one. Like that, that's beautiful. And then get rid of these fellas here because we don't need them anymore. Then I'm gonna get some hoppers and we're gonna put hoppers into the back of all of these just poking literally into the back of the barrels now the advantage of the barrel is that it looks a little bit like a wine cellar so that's what I'm going to effectively be making is a bit of a wine cellar so I'm just going to pop these there like that as well then what we're doing is we're going to have a barrel that sits on top of here and we're going to put a barrel on top of oh I've fallen off I'm going to put a barrel on top of all of these so again shift or crouch click pop it on there like that that's perfect so that's going to be our delivery barrel so we need to put 
a hopper into the back of the delivery barrel as well. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we need to put a row too high of cobble on here. But we need to be careful because we also want to be putting, I think I've probably done this the wrong way around, did I? Right, so I'm gonna pop that up there because we also want to be putting in some redstone torches. So what I've now got to do is I've got to get rid of these because I peaked too early. And I need to get these out of the way because they're in my way. Get them out. Then pop the redstone torch on each of those. That's beautiful. Now I can get my hoppers back. Shift click into the back of all of them. Lovely. So now we've got the start, the beginnings of our system. I'm going to get that row there. That's going to have, you'll notice that this block has got this on and we're going to face a repeater into that block. What that will happen there is when that repeater gets a signal, it will push power into that block, which will turn off this torch. And that's basically the basis of the whole system. Then we're going to come up to like that and there. But what will happen is when this block gets a charge on it, the repeater will suck it out, and that's how that effectively gets that charge. So then we're going to come along and build this out like this. Now we're going to get ourselves a comparator and push the comparator coming off of these, or the, the block above these hoppers. You can see that's above the hopper, not on the hopper. That means it's going to be reading something that's going on top of this. And what it's going to be reading on top of this is another hopper. And we're going to pop a hopper above each of these hoppers pointing into this block. Pointing into the block is really, really important. And the reason for that is that hoppers will push in the direction that their spout is facing. So you can see the spout of this hopper, you can't see it very well, it's come off again. The spout of this hopper is facing into that block. So that means it's not got anywhere to push. So it's going to rely on a pull. And it's the pull of the bottom hopper that we're actually looking to help us make this system work. And we're going to pop redstone dust on all six of those and all six of those. I told you this is a super simple sorting system. It's not got overflow protection or anything like that. You don't need it in a small survival world. Frankly, this is not an industrial sorter. That's not what we're looking for. Because what we want is a hopper going to that and then hopperize this entire row like that. Because what I need to do is I now need to change the name of some of my blocks so I will never ever sort them. I've got an anvil here. Anvil is made using three iron blocks and four bits of iron. And you're gonna put a whole block there and I'm gonna remove the name. And we're gonna call this a blocker block. Because I'm never ever going to be sorting a blocker block. That cost me one enchantment level. I'm gonna do it again with this. So two enchantment points has cost me in total. Let's just get some food in me, get those hearts back in case I fall over. And in this hopper, I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I've done this really badly. So you can see we've got five, 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 and six. I'm gonna do the same in here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna do it in all of the others as well. And I'm not gonna do it in this last one because this last one is gonna be our end chest. I actually went one too far there. Let's get that back because we do not need that there. There we go. So now those chests are kind of ready. Look, I've got all sorts about to eat my face in there. I'm gonna go for sleeps, and when I get back, we're gonna finish it off. It's a new day, it's time to do some new building. It looks really ugly at the moment. We are gonna make it look less ugly. You don't need to panic, dear viewer, because dear viewer, it will look fabulous. Yes, it will. Right, so we're gonna come back up here. So what do we want to put in our item sorter? 
because what's the point of having an item sorter if you're not going to sort anything? Well, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the things I've got in my inventory. So I'm going to sort stone brick, I'm going to sort oak log, I'm going to sort stone, I'm going to sort redstone, and I'm going to sort oak fence. So these are items that will stack in a stack of 64. Things that, whoa, what happened there? Did I just get skellied? Yeah, the skellies fire it for goodness sake. There's no safe place here, is there? But anyway, those things are now um, in the sorter. However, I did notice as the skelly realized that actually what I need to do is to take out that redstone torch because we don't want this hopper to lock. If this torch is uh, on, it'll lock this hopper and things won't flow through it. So we don't want to do that. That was my error. The last one is never locked. And now what we want to do is we want to get up on here and we want to access that. We want to put in a number of these items and see whether or not they are cooperative in their sortability. In fact, let's put some, some non-sorty stuff in there as well. There we go. So what should happen now is these items should all sort through. Just going to wait for a minute perhaps just to check that things are going through as soon as they go through then we will know we can look in our barrels it's all very exciting so the items should have gone by now it's been a few seconds that's brilliant and now we can run along now we should expect to see just similar things in these bottom barrels and all the junk in that one. There you go. So that's worked. This barrel system, this kind of wine cellar effect has worked beautifully. And you can extend it as far as you would like because these fellas, oi pig man, come and have a go at this skeleton for me. You can extend it as far as you would like because this will go on and on and on and on because you're not reliant on a single redstone signal. There's loads of effectively repeated redstone signals there. So you don't have to worry about going on for miles. And there's the finished product, well very nearly finished product. We've got a sidewall there that we've decorated up just with a little bit of a torch and some leaves. We've made the, the delivery system into a bit of a chimney so we can come up, put stuff in it and then go back down and oh, I'd lob off if you want. You just lob yourself off there, that won't work. I've done it matching on both sides. This is a very tiny system. Now, how do we know what is in each compartment? Well, that is a matter of choice. Well, so what you can do is you can get that off if you wished and you could do something there or you could pop it down there and do it on there. It's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do, I think I've got to make a decision because I think two, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. Okay, so what you've got to do is get yourself some item frames. Now there's an item frame for an item frame, I'm just going to come in and make an item frame for you because I don't think I've done it yet. Go into your uh, inventory, get eight sticks all the way around and a bit of lever in the middle, bang, you've got yourself an item frame. Absolutely brilliant. Now come along here, close the door, come along this side and if you get an item frame and pop it on each of those, you can then indicate what you've got in your place. So I'm going to go in We've got that in that one, that in that one, that in that one, and that is our junk. So I am going to put this because it looks like a bin. So that can be all the binny stuff. Now, obviously, this is a pretty rubbish sorting system because there's not a lot of stuff that's being sorted there. So you can extend that. I mean, literally extend it for miles and sort absolutely every block in the game if you choose to. And that is all about sortation and really quick and easy inventory management system. And I've done it in barrels rather than the traditional chests because I think it looks a little bit nicer than chests, to be honest. It, it looks like a complete wall, a little bit like a wine cellar. And now in 114, you've got the function of barrels. You don't need... A block above the chest or above the barrel to open it up it'll open up with that wooden right across the top if you have enjoyed that video please do make sure you go and see what frilly off has been up to frilly off is likely to have robots making his stuff 
That's what I reckon. He's got like remote control drones delivering his stuff to remote locations because he's a redstone genius and I've just lobbed a little bit of redstone down. But they both do work. I'm interested to see what Frill's got. I'm going to be popping over there right now and you should too. If you have enjoyed the video, please do remember to hit that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.